So world leaders, powerful politicians, billionaires, celebrities, religious leaders, even drug dealers, all targeted for hiding their investments in mansions, exclusive beachfront homes, yachts and other assets. That's according to a review of nearly 12 million files from around the world. It's the latest report by the International Consortium of Investigative Journalists involving 600 journalists naming people like the former UK Prime Minister Tony Blair, Jordan's King Abdullah, Kenyan President Uhura Kenyatta and the German supermodel Claudia Schiffer. Also implicated, the Ukrainian president, Vladimir Zelensky. And earlier, I spoke to our correspondent in Kiev, Gulliver Krak. The papers reveal that Volodymyr Zelensky's production company, Kvartal 95, and numerous people associated with it and with him used offshore companies in order to store the money that they had earned for many years before Volodymyr Zelensky was elected president. Um, there is no indication in these papers that this money was earned illegally, and already one of Volodymyr Zelensky's associates has been defending that practice, saying it was the only way to stop the money being targeted by corporate raiders in Ukraine's corrupt establishment. But then when this person was asked in the film made by uh, Ukrainian journalists, why didn't you get rid of these uh, companies when you became the establishment, he said, well, we're doing it, but it's a slow process. There is one aspect of this, though, where Volodymyr Ms. Zelensky could be seen as being on the wrong side of the law, and that is that there is one of these companies which he apparently passed to his associate, Sergei Shafir, when he was elected without any money changing hands. But that company is now, um, according to the papers, belonging perhaps indirectly to Sergei Shafir, but still paying dividends to Volodymyr Zelensky and his wife. If that's true, then that is perhaps illegal. But there isn't really um, a, a huge smoking gun here about Volodymyr Zelensky engaging in illegal activity. The thing is, though, is that all these arrangements with offshore companies, huge wealth and so on, completely clash with the image on which he got himself elected, which was the image based on this fictional character that he played in a sitcom of a man of the people who becomes president president because, precisely because, he's so sick of the elite and their vast wealth hidden abroad in offshores. Got a crack there in Kiev. Now, Japan